morning. I have to start out today's morning chat talking about this because every time I think about it, it just gets me so fired up that if I don't talk about it right now, I'm actually going to go crazy. I'm sure many of you guys have heard me talk about my best friend Jessica many times in my videos, but today I wanna share a story about her that I feel like really captures the essence of who she is. Just a little bit of background info. Jessica and I have been really close since high school and she has always been such a sister to me in terms of um, she's always been so grounded in her faith and every little thing that she does is she operates out of that foundation I've always admired how she doesn't like freak out or get stressed out to the point of being paralyzed And at the end of the day no matter how rough her circumstances are She always comes back to the fact that she is a daughter of God She has never been one to like shove Jesus down anyone's throat, which I've always admired and respected about her and if you just meet Jessica uh, I have goosebumps I actually have goosebumps talking about her if you have the honor of meeting Jessica she just like radiates a special something and you're like god what is it that she has um, that's so that's so different and it's only after you get to know her that she is one to just live out her faith. I almost feel like I'm not even doing her enough justice by talking about her like this, but she's always been so supportive of me and very much like Gail, like Jessica has always been able to like pull out um, gifts that she sees in me and just like breathe life into people. That is who Jessica is. Actually, I'm gonna put on my makeup while I talk about this because <laughs> why not? So Jessica. Jessica. Like seven months ago, Brandon and I visited New York around my birthday and Thanksgiving. One of the nights, we went out to have dinner with Jessica and like a few of our other friends. After dinner, we went to play ping pong and like have beers at this billiard bar place. I remember like during rounds of us playing ping pong with everyone, Jessica was like telling me about this vision that she had, this dream that she had about opening up a kids cafe and if you guys are unfamiliar with what a kids cafe is and the only reason I know what it is is because I live in Korea and it's a huge thing over here but basically it's a cafe where um, moms can go and have coffee and relax while their kids play in like an indoor gym sort of thing it's not even a gym it's like a play area there's usually ball pits and like blocks and just different things going on. As far as I'm concerned, it's not something that I've ever heard of in the States. Yeah, so she was talking about this idea of a kid's cafe and like, you know, what she was envisioning. And then she made it happen. So it's been seven months and they just had their grand opening very recently. I wanna say within maybe like the last two weeks, maybe last week, I'm sorry, Jessica, I don't know the exact date, but she made it happen and I just, I'm so impressed because Jessica is such an idea, idea person. She's such a dreamer um, and she's an executioner. Like Brandon always has seen that in her. He's like, Jessica is someone that will like take an idea and then just go. Her husband, Chisu, he's more like me in terms of like, he likes to figure out the little details and like he's very like meticulous when it comes to that kind of thing so i feel like they make such a great team and then they partnered up with another couple so the four of them opened up this kids cafe together i just would love for you guys to like check out their website there's pictures of like the different play areas um, i was taking a look at their menu and it just looks fantastic so she they serve like drip coffee stumptown drip coffee and they have acai bowls. And prior to this kids cafe, Jessica used to um, run a juice bar in Brooklyn. And I don't know if she's still gonna do that along with the kids cafe, but like they've opened up a juice bar as well in the kids cafe. So moms or I don't know, babysitters or nannies, if it's cool with your client like, and you're in the Queens area, oh my gosh, please go over there and support Jessica and give her a huge hug and tell her that I sent you and just sit there and like relax and have like a acai bowl and you know, let your kids play. I think she mentioned that they have like a, 
like a hygienic version of a sand pit and like different like sensory toys. Whatever other details you're curious about, you can go ahead uh, and check out her website. I will link it below. <sighs> Jessica, you are freaking amazing. <laughs> Look at this. I have goosebumps. Like all the little hairs on my little arm is just standing up right now. <laughs> so um, I guess my message to you guys watching is um, if you have a dream, Go for it. Seriously, go for it. Do something that's going to change the world, you know, or not if, if not the world, like that's going to change the community that you're a part of. Just talking about that, I'm like so freaking fired up for my day. So one thing that I want to address because I have gotten some questions about it is uh, why I haven't been um, uploading any dance with fear vlogs. And I was thinking about making this its own video, but I think that's unnecessary and I'll explain why in a second. I haven't been to dance since the beginning of this month. So it has been almost a full month that I have not gone to dance class. And a few reasons for that. For the first two weeks, like things kept coming up and I just couldn't make it work with, with my schedule. You know, that's more of an explanation. And then this is my excuse. You know, at the end of May, they started bringing in a new instructor every week. I personally had a hard time with that because I feel like some of the instructors are more suited for teaching beginners classes and then there were a few teachers that are very advanced and in those classes, especially the instructors that have like a huge fan following, a lot of the dancers that like that instructor will come to the beginners class and then it's just like packed like sardines and the whole the choreography that we're learning it's just really not um encouraging for a beginner like me and i know that sounds so lame because i should i should be able to push myself through discomfort right i just remember the last few classes i attended i would leave and i just felt like i was taking steps back because what i've been going to dance for the last five months twice a week and at some point i felt like i was gaining momentum in terms of feeling more confident about it and then you know once the whole the change happened i was really struggling you know the first two weeks of me not going in june it just made it harder for me to want to go back you know it, it's it's like with working out too right once you like get out of the routine it's really hard to you know just get back on the horse and just like go at it at least that's how i feel every time that i had the opportunity to go and dance i listened to the voice in my head that was like you know what's the point of you going today like look who's teaching and it's not like you're going to pick up the choreography anyway everyone in class is going to be like significantly better than you i let the voices in my head really dictate my inaction it's not easy for me to admit that, but that's honestly one part of it. The other component of why there hasn't been vlogs, I mean, obviously I have to be at dance to vlog about it, right? But I spoke about this with Brandon sometime last month, but I was telling him how I wanted to just go to dance class for me. And what I mean by that is I felt this pressure and I know it's mostly pressure that I put on myself, but every time I would go to dance, I would hear the voice in my head that's like okay you need to be vlogging this you need to be capturing this um you know this kind of footage is what i want to include in my vlogs and because of all the voices in my head on top of the other voices in my head telling me that i can't dance it was just it was crushing for me and i told brandon like i think i need to take a month where i just go to dance class just for the sake of going without the pressures of trying to like capture something for a vlog yeah i just felt like it was taking away from my personal experience of you know growth i don't think he was a fan of me saying that because he wanted me to learn how to push through that but ultimately you know he told me obviously it's it's my final decision that was a struggle for me because i don't know if i was being true to myself about me wanting to really have that experience for myself or you know am i copping out and i can't say i've landed on the right conclusion with that because i haven't been going to dance class so i haven't even taken that month to just dance for myself I read this really great book and I'm in the middle of one now and they've both shown such a positive light on what to do about fear so I think I really need to talk about those books in a future video but basically one of the concepts in the first book that I read was talking about the professional versus 
the amateur i'm not sure if that's the official title that was in the book the book was just saying how you know even for professionals even for people that are at the top of their game like fear just never goes away like you think that if someone is like just excels at their craft that they'll just wake up and not be scared anymore and there was one person that the book talked about when using that person as an example of the professional he's some kind of performer but like before he goes on stage he will go and like throw up from being so nervous and then just like clean up and get out there and just perform thankfully i've never gotten to the point where like i actually threw up but it's crazy to think that someone who you know has the mastery can still feel those emotions like physically emotionally mentally everything and i really need to remember that and I, <laughs> it's so tough like even me admitting this out loud i feel like a failure in a way and i also have to take that and that i'm a failure thing and know that that's not true and that is just a story that i'm telling myself in my head and it's not real so i've mentioned this earlier and the reason i haven't made a separate video about this is because i'm going to go to dance tomorrow and thursday i'm gonna get back on the horse this week and yeah and i know there are certain people that don't watch these morning chats and they come solely for the dance with fear vlogs and Maybe they'll watch this, maybe they won't, but I don't know. I just, I don't think it was necessary to make an entire video just talking about that. Instead, I'm just going to action it and just suck it up and just go back tomorrow. Even what I shared earlier about my best friend Jessica, just thinking about what she's accomplished. And I know that it's not easy. Um, she and I were talking a few days ago and she reached out to me like asking for prayer because, I mean, if you think about it, she's running this business where there are children involved and lots of little moving parts and toys and stuff. And so I thought about this too. It's like, oh, I wonder how worried she is about the safety issue and things like that but it's such a legitimate thing to be concerned about especially when it involves children and it's not like okay she had this dream she made this business happen and boom like she's made it it's it's not even like that you know if anything her journey is starting now again another thing that i admire about her is her being honest with what she's going uh, going through and then asking for help which is so strong i'm just spitting all over my mirror today <laughs> We all have our own journey and on you know on the bigger scale of things it's like jessica's business and me being worried about going to a dance class similarities for sure are there but i can't let this get the best of me that's where i've landed so far i'm still processing it as you can see and hopefully i'll have a dance vlog soon <laughs> and you guys can you know watch that if you would like to see like a follow-up to everything that's going on with me right now in terms of my fear with it now moving on to some future videos that are in the works so yesterday we went to church for the first time in a very long time and the reason that we went to this church it's not our church but we have been there once before the reason we went to that church is because Gail told us that Chad was going to share his testimony in front of the congregation. I've heard little bits of Chad's testimony, you know, how he came to his faith and all of that, because apparently Chad's given his testimony at Reebok. Like they've had meetings and, you know, he's so open to sharing that and I freaking think he's so cool for it. And I've heard little parts of it from Brandon or like, you know, having conversations with Chad, but I wanted to be there in person to experience it for myself. I got Chad's permission to record that. I have to get around to editing it, but I would love to share it with you guys. That's going to be coming up very soon. And at some point, I'd really like to share why it is that I started YouTube. I don't know that I've ever gone into very much detail about it. I would like to share my why and what I have learned through the process. I'm in the process of brainstorming what it is I want to share. Can expect that from me sometime in the near future. Sort of random, but not really. Um, one of my viewer friends that I met through this channel, Anna, she heard me talking about the Glossier boy brow in one of my videos and she was so sweet. She reached out to me and told me that she had so many other products to try and she sent me the boy brow from her own personal stash and on top of that, she sent me some samples of the Glossier Priming Moisturizer and oh my gosh, 
Anna, you have no idea how happy this makes me. <laughs> I love travel size items. Who doesn't? And um, she sent me a travel size version of the liquid blender cleanser. Anna, I have been obsessed with the priming moisturizer. I have been um, using it the past few mornings and I love it so much that when I'm done with this, my current moisturizer, I'm using one from Acura Organics right now. I am going to start using the priming moisturizer. <gasps> my makeup has been sitting so nicely on top of it and I'm so happy that Glossier is not sold out of that. They're freaking sold out of so many other things though. By the way, I've been looking forward to getting ready every single day because I've, I know I mentioned this last week, but I'm freaking obsessed with Beauty Counter's tint skin. You know, I thought it was going to be huge shoes to fill when, you know, I'm pretty much done with this. Maybe, maybe a few drops left, but I'm like, oh, nothing's gonna replace this. But honestly, um, I'm into the lighter coverage these days and just like, you know, going in with more concealer in like the spots that I need it. This on top of the glossy priming moisturizer, Ma. Oh, and in between actually, in between these steps, I also use my Kula Matte Sunscreen and this doesn't pill on top of it. It works nicely with this. It's just very, very satisfied. <laughs> and you know, I'm really happy that I'm doing this um, capsule wardrobe thing with my makeup collection because I'm always tempted to try new products, but because I'm making myself go through the things that I already own, it's just growing the love that I have for these products. Okay, this is about the time where I become really mellow because all the things that I was like f fired up talking about has been discussed. It's chill Jen. Chill Jen is coming out. Absolutely hate the Lily Lolo mascara. I'm like really scraping <laughs> to use the rest of my favorite mascara and it expired a month ago. And I have really sensitive eyes. Like if I use expired makeup, I get like little, these little things that form in my eyelids. They kind of look like whiteheads. I know that's so gross. It's like I'd rather get those than use the Lily Lolo mascara. So this is going, I, I'm actually gonna chuck it right now. I have to get a replacement for this. Okay, my friends, I hope you kick ass today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye!